And welcome everybody to the EK Park Stadium in East Kilbride for today's SWPL clash between Celtic and Hamilton. It's a lovely day for a game of football, not quite as warm as last week, but the sun is splitting the sky and everybody's looking forward to a game. So Celtic line up today in goal, Kira Gibson, number five, Natalie Ross, number nine, Josephine Giard, number 10, Nicole Puller, number 11, Sarah Ewans, 12, Rachel Donaldson, 16, Colette Kavanagh, 17, Claire Adams, 19, Georgie Rafferty, 40, Rachel O'Neill, and 48, Rachel Connor. Uh, lovely to see Amy Lindsay back with uh, the Hamilton Football Club, so well, she stopped playing in the last season or two. She still has an active role to play, helping the team out. So Hamilton line up with Lauren Grant in goal. Number four, Danny Connolly. Number five, Kirsty Fraser. Number six, Jade Lindsay. Number eight, Amy Anderson. Number nine, Corey Hay. Ten, Laurie Gardner. Thirteen, Nina Fitzsimmons. Fourteen, Jill Ingalls, and also the captain. Fifteen, Katie Rice. And seventeen, Vary Lyle. The referee for today's game is David Milton. And the assistant referee number one is Andrew Robertson. And the second assistant referee is Andrew Swan. So, referee David Milton starts the game and Celtic have possession and they immediately go back to the defensive line and then start to build an attack on the left-hand side. That's a long through ball and it's a fast foot race straight away. That looks like it'll go out for a Hamilton throw. So Colette Kavanagh. She plays across her defensive line. Nobody's coming to meet Celtic. Up it goes. Nicole Puller's touch is good. She's got a chance there. She's closed down by Jade Lindsay. She feeds it back. Natalie Ross has it. She goes wide left. Chance now for the ball into the box. Jalingos. She allows her to come inside, but then the ball breaks free. It's across. It's dangerous. Comes off the underside of the bar. That could easily have gone in. Hamilton survive. But that was a tremendous chance there to open the scoring for Celtic. That could almost have been an opening goal. But Hamilton survived that one. Let's see if we can keep the defensive shape. So Celtic certainly having the lion's share of possession. And most of the chances. Opening 20 minutes. Still nothing each though. Lauren Grant. She tries to flip. It's a good chance here for Nicole Puller. She'll lift it over. And just too high. So Nicole Puller in on goal. Out at the penalty spot. And then just lifted it over the bar too high with too much force. So Lauren Grant did well to come down and close the angle. But there was a chance there for the Celtic striker to open the scoring. So Katie Rice is there. Vary Lyle is there. Cody Hay is there. Nina Fitzsimmons might make a late run. Indeed she has. But then it goes to Varia Lyle, who's near the goal line. She controls it pretty well. Tries to get a ball into the box, but that's one back by Celtic. Amy Anderson read that one. Feeds it back in there to Danny Connolly. She feeds it across to Amy Anderson. Amy Anderson feeds it in. There's a great chance there, but Laurie Gardner gets her head on the ball, but it goes straight up in the air. Celtic emerge with the ball now though, and then it's a long ball through the middle. Kirsty Fraser tries to play it to Nina Fitzsimmons, but that ball breaks on the right-hand side. Rachel Donaldson tries to play it inside, but Jane, Jane Lindsay collects that, and she's looking for a through ball there. Nearly made it, but last ditch defending this time by Colette Kavanagh for Celtic. She manages to stop the ball finding its way across there to Laurie Gardner. End-to-end -end stuff in the last five minutes. I'm sure the fans here in the stadium are enjoying it. There's a sliding challenge, and that'll be a Hamilton ball. So, Jill Ingalls. Decent flight, decent pace. Amy Anderson gets the head flick on. Katie Rice has seen that one, plays it through. There's a chance here, Cody Hay. She needs to get in on goal first touch. She's good, left foot on the ball. Celtic come across very fast indeed. Good defending by the Celtic team. Because Cody Hay was almost away, had a chance to get a shot on goal, but great pace by the Celtic defenders. They got across there and managed to clear the danger. However, that will give Hamilton some encouragement and a chance to get the ball into the box from a corner situation. So here it comes. And it comes, that's the near post. 
Uh, just a tent there for Danny Connolly to perhaps flick it in, but the ball was made contact just outside the width of the post. It's always difficult to flick it back and manage to beat the goalkeeper from that spot. So five minutes to go before the end of this first half. Jill Ingalls is looking for movement up ahead. So Vary Lyle, Katie Rice, Cody Hay are all on the offside line. They'll probably retreat back. That ball's a little bit short there. Nina Fitzsimmons challenges. That could go to Vary Lyle. Her first touch allows her to go up and back. Nina Fitzsimmons plays that one in, but one in the air by Celtic. Amy Anderson finds Jill Ingalls. She sends it in this time. There's one for Katie Rice to get the ball at her feet. There's a chance here. And the left foot shot just didn't quite have the pace that Katie Rice should be looking for. She did very well to create space there. Actually had more time than she thought. She could have got the ball out of her feet and had a stronger shot on goal. But Celtic doing well. Ball comes into the box now. That's a great ball. What's going to happen here? There's a chance for an opening goal for Celtic. Still a chance, but Jade Lindsay, what a touch that is. She managed to play a little trick there and finds Barry Lyle. The ball goes on. Katie Rice finds Laurie Gardner. She's on the right-hand side. First touch is ahead of her, but she's closed down. What's she going to do? She comes inside, gets the ball into the box, perhaps. Chance here for Hamilton. Yep, so Colette Kavanagh, she took a big swipe there, and although she didn't catch the player, there was enough of a, an impact to give a foul to Hamilton. So... High excitement at both ends. Chance for Celtic to open the scoring. And then within 20 seconds, Hamilton down into the Celtic box. And let's see, will it be a shot on goal left foot? Will it be an in-swinger? Or will it be a right-sided out-swinger? Your guess is as good as mine. Inside it comes. Ball's free. Comes off the head of a Celtic player. So that'll be a corner kick. Kira Gibson goes wide left. Plays it short. A little bit of trickery there. And the ball comes up longer to Sarah Ewans. Her first touch is to Colette Kavanagh. She does a little trick but loses possession. Laurie Gardner could have picked that one up but Sarah Ewans now picks it up for Celtic. She goes forward and she finds Kavanagh. And then Natalie Ross has it. She plays it into Nicole Puller. She protects the ball and then it plays through the middle. There's a chance here for Celtic. Still in chance for Celtic, and it's the opening goal for Celtic in this moment in time. So there was a chance there to clear the ball. It came off the goalkeeper. Hamilton appealed for an offside, but it was in vain as the Celtic striker followed through and opened the score. So Josephine Giard, she gets on the score sheet again. She must enjoy playing Hamilton. because She scored the last time the two teams met at New Douglas Stadium. And at the moment, Celtic still in command. Natalie Ross forward finds Josephine Giard wide right. Rachel Donaldson for Celtic. They stream an attack on the right hand side. Danny Connolly forces her inside. Josephine Giard has it. She's a little bit clumsy there, but she gets the break of the ball. And that looks like it could be the second goal for Celtic. So that's a little bit of fortune on that one because it looked like the danger had passed. Jade Lindsay made the tackle. The ball was free, deflected up and over. And despite Lauren Grant's best effort to touch it over the bar, the ball finds its way into the back of the net to double Celtic's lead, 2-0. So about 10 minutes left to go in the game. Celtic leading by two goals to nothing. So Jill Ingalls tries to play that forward. Erin Rennie finds Cody Hay. She's looking to find and play in Emily Shearer. Emily Shearer has a chance on the right-hand overlap. She plays it into the box. Katie Rice turns and spins. She had a chance to shoot there, but Celtic back in numbers. They can defend there pretty well. The ball on the spin. Laurie Gardner's free. Her first touch nearly took her past. Celtic defender. Celtic win it in there and they play it forward that's a decent ball I have to say all the way through is the keeper going to come out she does, she takes everything with her but the ball breaks kindly for Celtic that's another piece of bad luck for the Hamilton goalkeeper she did pretty well to come out and close the space she did a strong contact on the ball but the ball broke in the worst position you can imagine and that allowed the Celtic striker to walk the ball over the net to make it a comfortable 3-0 lead for Celtic. So once Rachel Donaldson gets space on the right-hand side, she can look up. She's got all the time to wrap her right foot round that ball. And she delivered a really dangerous ball into a dangerous area. 
Hamilton well to make that header go wide. So a few tired legs out there. It's been a long afternoon for Hamilton. They've chased most of the ball. It's warm. Ball comes in. There's another header there. This time Colette Kavanagh comes in. And she does well to meet the ball right in front of the goalkeeper. Who's taking a knock by the looks of things. Goalkeeper's down. Another header for Celtic. So dangerous ball into the box. Header beautifully met by Colette Kavanagh. Keeper had come out. Colette Kavanagh wins that one. And that's in the space of nowhere. We've gone to Celtic 4, Hamilton 0. Jalingo's looking for movement. Nothing much happening at the moment. Everybody fairly static. It's getting near the end of the game. And indeed, that's the referee, David Milton, has decided that the time is up. He blows his whistle for the end of the game. A match that's seen Celtic win victorious by four goals to nothing. A nothing each game at half time gave Gary Doctor and the team hope for optimism, but some good goals by Celtic and a break of the ball, it has to be said, on a couple of occasions probably resulted in that 4 nothing scoreline. So it's disappointment for Hamilton after last week's fine 2 nothing victory at home to Spartans. And that means it's a tough midweek trip to Easter Road where Hamilton's next fixture will be against the informed team Hibs. So let's see how Hamilton do in that game. And we look forward to the pleasure of your company at that occasion. So we hope you've enjoyed the match highlights today from a sunny K Park Stadium here in East Kilbride. And we look forward to seeing you again in the next fixture at Easter Road. So for me, it's goodbye, match commentator John Mathers. <laughs>